So I was born in Honolulu, but grew up uh, my whole life in Canton, Connecticut, just outside of West Hartford in the suburbs. And, uh, you know, grew up playing every sport possible all year round. Uh, actually, I came from a town that didn't have a youth soccer team, uh, but I had in my neighborhood guys who were on the varsity uh, at our high school. So I hung out with them a lot, and uh, even when I was, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, and you know, watch them playing baseball, basketball, and soccer uh, for the high school. And, uh, you know, first started playing soccer that way. We had a couple of uh, multi-sport camps in the summer, and you know, same thing, baseball, basketball, soccer, but never really had any organized soccer until seventh and eighth grade soccer. So, you know, I come from the uh, anti-soccer background. <laughs> but, you know, played, played in high school, played for the club next door, Farmington Soccer Club. And uh, somewhere around sophomore year in high school, I made the uh, brilliant decision that I wanted to be either a pro hockey player or a pro soccer player, and somehow it came to soccer. And so that was pretty much uh, the trajectory. Yeah, well, so right around that same time when I was maybe freshman, sophomore year, I was you know, thinking about college and thinking about the pros. And uh, my, actually my high school uh, baseball and soccer coach knew Bill Muse, who was the head coach at Princeton at the time. And we were talking about the big soccer programs, the Virginias and the Dukes and uh, all that stuff. And Connecticut at the time was very, very strong. Uh, but he kind of put at the top of the list, you know, because I was a pretty strong student at that time, put at the top of the list Princeton. And, you know, from that point on, I kind of studied Princeton, kept an eye on what was going on in, on campus and uh, with the sports programs and uh, just kind of had it early in my mind that that's where I wanted to go. So when I was a junior and senior, I recruited at a, you know, just about all the Ivies and West Point and Air Force Academy and then like Virginia, Duke, Connecticut, maybe a couple others. Uh, but once I got in, I was pretty much all set. So, uh, and then my senior spring, Coach Muse called me and said, listen, I want to give you a heads up. You're my number one recruit. I'm going to resign tomorrow. So I was like, oh, great. There's, there goes my soccer career, right? So it was a pretty interesting uh, story there. One of the co-captains was from Connecticut, a uh, kid from Dynamo Kiev's under-19 team named Yuri Fishman, and he was on the search committee. So I knew right away that it was Bobby Clark, who was a Scottish international who since done real well at Dartmouth, Stanford. He's at Notre Dame now, you know, pretty much top 10, top 20 program every year. Uh, Bob DeCranian, who was two or three time, maybe more, NCAA champion, Division II school right there in Connecticut, who I knew, you know, just to say hello to, and, you know, he knew me. And then Bob Bradley, who obviously, I think he was 26 or 27 at the time, and was assistant at Virginia with Bruce Arena, but we didn't really know anything about him. And, I figured Bobby Clark or DeCraney would get the job, and then, uh, of course, Bob Bradley got the job, so uh, I've known him ever since, since my freshman year, you know, 17 years old. He was my coach for four years at Princeton, and then uh, him and Bruce brought me into DC United in 96, right after the beginning of the season, and then I finished my MLS career in Chicago with Bob 